P. Ross back in the building with the homie. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Micah, a.k.a. C, capital M to the S, a.k.a. the one. And together, we are BAM! Read it. Can we have a moment of meditation, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, Purple Underground in the building. And right now, we're going to talk about uh, the Prince of State. They are suing our records. Oh, boy. Records. Yo. Man. You, you know what? I, it, it, I think they got our records when they was Lady Bird, too. Remember when they was Lady Bird? Yeah. Back in the day? I think Prince got their ass back then. And that's why they changed their name to I Records, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. See, so, I didn't know that. So, yeah. You remember when they was Lady Bird and they changed the I? Yeah. I think that's what it is. But what's so funny is, is like, what, what they do which I totally disagree with just to let it be mm-hmm. known they take free recordings they take them rename them put nice packaging with them you know what I'm saying put them on press CDs and sell them for a ridiculous amount of money you know what I mean I've heard of that I've heard of that you know like it, it's yeah. several bootlegs they done, done like that you know what right. I mean from outtakes all that shit when really like I like th- this this has been a story over and over and over again with this bootleg shit right housequake.com mm-hmm. back in the day like people great website great website people didn't share bootlegs with you unless you had something like in return you know what I mean like basically you couldn't mm-hmm. get something for nothing now, you did have those cool cats that would say, yo, check this out. Take that. You know what I mean? Um, right. But there was, like, really no money involved in exchange. You know what I mean? It was, like, basically just trading and sharing and stuff like that. And, like, since the Internet age ha- has progressively gotten better, you know what I mean? Like, all this shit. It's basically free. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I really don't understand the need for a bootleg company anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like, I feel mm-hmm. like they were needed back then due to the fact that some of the material we could, as fans, couldn't get our hands on. Mm-hmm. But, like, now, in 2018, like, I'm not paying for no bootleg. Right. I ain't paying for that shit. No, no, no. And you know, we know places that, you know, sell bootlegs and shit, but I'm not paying for that shit. Right. Not when I can call Joe Smo and be like, you know what I'm saying? Put that motherfucking the weed transfer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Send me through. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's ridiculous. And they are still, like, back in the day. Like how they would just charge us ridiculous amounts of money for bootlegs. Like, Man. like it, it was incredible. You know what I'm we, saying? We we have like stories that one day on this on our channel we'll sh- share with with you guys. But, I mean, it it, it was ridiculous back then, man. And you know, this was like every Friday, every Friday get paid, mm-hmm. head to the record store, see what new bootlegs they got getting raped <laughs> but right. we didn't know no better because you know we want the material but now in 2018 ain't really no need for that no more I don't think it is you know what I'm saying so I feel like you know really unless it's the Bogart show from Cincinnati 1984 <laughs> Like, that's the only thing I would pay for right now. That's the only show I would pay for right now. Well, well, yeah, I would, I would definitely pay for that. That, that. Like, easily. 
that's the only I would joke. definitely pay so for that. So if somebody see this yeah. video and they got that Bogart show, Cincinnati, Ohio, 1984, yo, holler at the Purple Underground. Yeah. <laughs> if the estate is watching, yeah. release that show. <laughs> yeah. Shit, is, man, something. I mean, shit. As a matter of fact, maybe this year at the uh, celebration in April, man, pull that out. You think they got well, video footage? Huh? You think they got video footage of that? Yeah. I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know they got audio. I'm, they got that audio. Of that. They have to. No, well, okay. I'm not really too surprised because, like you said, this is, this is nothing new. Like, Prince, um, what, who was it? It was a site I remember a few years ago before he had passed, or maybe a year or two before he had passed, and I think he was going to sue. Oh, somebody. that was uh, uh, it was a blog site. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it though. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, uh -huh. so, so this is not really new news to me, but. I mean, look, I mean, the fans, us, the fans, we want that exclusive stuff. Right, you know? for sure. I mean, but at the same time, I mean, we have to be patient, mm -hmm. you know, because of, you know, the things that are going on with the estate, uh, which I would advise, you know, all the Prince fans to September 21st go out and get that piano and a microphone 1983 yeah caught that yeah i mean because it's like if if we don't support it then they're not gonna make no money back so it's gonna get to a point where like well why are we even gonna release it if the fans are not buying it right or something so i mean and i know a lot of collectors had this show but and it's a good rehearsal but I mean, why wouldn't you want it in pristine quality? Right. For where sure. you can really hear like the vocals, really feel the music. Right. And don't marry, yeah. don't you weep sound great though? Sounds excellent. Sound great. Yes. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. So Yeah, I mean I don't know, man. I mean, like, I've heard little rumblings about I records that they definitely charge like an arm and a leg. Yeah, like but but the thing is, they get the prices. they get the free shit and sell the free shit. Right. Yeah. You know. Which you know, which that's not cool. And also, hold on. Let let me put this out there because I believe it is I Records. They came out with some bootlegs. <laughs> this, I think this past year, and it says Purple Underground. We don't have nothing to do with that. Let me state that. Is that right I now. Records doing that, or is the the label called the Purple Underground? It said, I think I Records was behind that. Really? I think I'm a I'm a double check. I'm a double check now. Is someone who's whoever's watching this, if you can leave a comment, if you if you up on your bootleg game, that ain't you, us. That ain't us. Yeah, that is not us. But not if us. I'm wrong, you know, feel free to correct me on that. What look? What little Kim say? What wanted us so bad you went and copped a bootleg? Copped a bootleg. <laughs> yeah. Ah shit. I'm just saying I don't I don't want no problems with the estate. I don't want us to come come down and try to say, well, y'all call the Purple Underground and your name. We ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't have no. No access to no bootlegs that haven't been out, that nobody doesn't know, none of that. And that includes P. Ross, too, because no, nah, 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 we ain't got nothing to do with nah, that. I ain't got nothing, got I mean, nothing to do with that. You know what Prince did say? And you can't give me for nothing, because I ain't got shit. <laughs> I, ain't I ain't got, got no buku money got like that. But Prince did say front. he owns some, uh, some bootlegs of somebody, but he don't sell them. He listens to them. Right, you know what exactly. I'm saying, and and it's cool for fans to trade them and listen to them, but but to to exactly. purchase them and to be selling them, nah, that ain't cool. 
Nah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you out records. And the thing about yeah. out records, a lot of that shit don't be like good quality. Like, like the the best the best bootleg company ever. Was sabotage. sabotage. Easy. Sabotage. You know what I mean? Yeah, they they were the they were the best. I mean, but there was some there's some other ones that was good. You know, Moonbreaker, yeah. which also uh, they renamed their company uh, Thunderball. Thunderball, I Thunderball. think. Yeah. So, so yeah, Thunderball and um, for the funk. You know they, yeah. you know they did some good stuff. Yeah. Pure but they, funk. They they went back. Pure funk. Who? Pure funk. Yeah, oh. now, um, free boot generation. Hey, you know what? We shouting out all these names, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but, but listen, but listen, but listen. A lot of them, a lot of them, not even active right now. Nah, I so, know, I know them. Nah, uh-uh. yeah, they're not even active. Yeah. It was even one called Digital Funk Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Digital Funk Bitch. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we're not trying to dry snitch or anything or snitch on nobody, but. I mean, but you know, if if you're a collector, you already are, yeah, you, you already know, know about these. Shit. Yeah. So. But yes, I mean, but I mean, the thing is, if the estate would put the shit out, it wouldn't be no need for no bootleg company. You see what I'm saying? But more than that, if the people that know they could get the shit for free, you know what I'm saying, from somebody else, they shouldn't even be bad from the bootleg company. Right. But see, that's the right, and and that's that's the the downside I think with with the internet though. It's like we got it to the point to where well we can get it for free. We ain't got to pay for it or whatever like that. That's just like this the piano and the, and the microphone. Nineteen eighty three is get is get ready to come out. I know I'm quite sure there's gonna be hella fans, fans that's gonna be like, well, I already got the bootleg, so why am I gonna pay for? It? You see what I'm saying? So right. it's like, well, damn. Okay, so if they give us something that we don't get, are you still going to go out right. and get it? Or are you going to wait for someone to, nah, let me go ahead and leak, get it leaked nah, out nah, uh, they with need a to be, link? Fans need to be supporting every release. Right. Come out. Period. Yeah, so it's like it's like a lot of fans, they get, they get spoiled to the point they don't have to go out and pay for anything. But it's like, mm-hmm. like damn, man. It's like, I mean, yeah, everybody loves a hookup, but shit, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, but at the same no. time, you have to be, you have to be a little supportive. Support your artists. Yeah. Shit. But see, like the estate, it's I don't know, it's it's a lot of things that they could do. It's a lot of different ideas. I'm sure they could yeah. run with. I mean, as far as in terms of. Getting a lot of unreleased stuff that nobody's either seen or heard. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. But you know, just have to wait and see, man. It's just, we'll see. So it's, it's, it's a lot of it's it's a lot they got on their plate. Right. I mean, for for someone who didn't didn't leave a will. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. but for whatever reason, I mean, who, only he knows. So. so. I mean, you know, what what y'all think, people? Is this the death of our records? <laughs> AKA Ladybird. What was they called before Ladybird? Uh I can't that's remember. That's the same company that did that Atlanta eighty show. Yeah. I can't even remember. I got I got that bootleg in there right now. Now is this the end of bootlegs getting leaked out? That's 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 a question I I wanna know what, from you. What you say? Or uh, that's a question I got for you. Is this the end of bootlegs, like, just being leaked out, you think? I don't think so, man. I don't, nah. I don't think so, man, because I feel like the Prince community is one of the greatest communities ever as far as, like, dedicated to a single musician. And and I think as long as there's that demand, somebody is supplied. You know, I hope they are, so. Yeah. It is what it is. And then, and then also too. Let's let's keep it real. We're not gonna hear everything in this in that vault. No, 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 no. 
you know, unless unless they do something like I mean, just revamp the, the the MPG Music Club or some variation of that, where you got to pay for the membership and then they just flooding, right? You know, that even site that ain't like gonna every be month enough. or something. You can let it to be two hundred right. years and you ain't gonna hear anything in that vault. What's right. the life expectancy nowadays? 65, 70 years old? Shit, the way, you know what I'm yeah, the way, the way a lot of people just dropping off, yeah. Right. So, and know, that's it is what it still is. young. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, we're going to go ahead and so, let y'all go. What y'all think, yeah. people? Is this the death of our records? Used to be Ladybird. Used to be, what they used to be back in the day? I have to look at the back of that DVD, but. Yeah, is this the death of our records? Let us know down in the comments. Mm -hmm. And how do y'all feel about buying bootlegs and these bootleg companies? Was you buying bootlegs back in the day? Did they take your whole paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let us know. Let yeah, us know. and the Purple Underground is not selling bootlegs. No, we're not. No, hell we're not no. distributing, no bootlegs, none of that. No, no, sir. Not All right. So, I'm so I, don't, I, don't, I don't want the MPG, you know, to come after us. So, right. well, I'm P. Ross, and I'm Micah, aka CMS, and together we are the Purple Underground. <laughs>